This is how to install Controlify 1.21.5 for Minecraft so you could play using a controller on PC. Let's go. All right, so the first step is to click the second link in the description that will place you right here to download Controlify. Over here, we're going to choose game version and we're going to choose 1.21.5. Now, if you have NeoForge, go ahead and download the NeoForge one. If you have Fabric, download the Fabric one. If you don't have any of those two, don't worry. Then let's just go ahead and download the Fabric one right here. To download that one, just click on the arrow right here, the green arrow, and the download will begin right away. Now, Controlify also has two dependencies. That is Jet Another Config Lib and Fabric API. First, let's download Jet Another Config Lib. Click on the third link in the description. That'll place you right here where we're going to choose game version and we're going to choose 1.21.5. And if you downloaded Fabric earlier, we're also going to download Fabric in here. Again, if you have NeoForge, just download the proper one, right? In this case, we're going to download Fabric. Click on the green arrow right here. Same process as before. And now click on the fourth link in the description where we're going to download the Fabric API. We'll put you right here, select 1.21.5 and then click download for the most recent one. In this case, they are all for Fabric, so just go ahead and download it in here. Now, once you downloaded those three mods, it's time to add them into your Fabric instance. If you already have Fabric installed in your computer, just go ahead and add these mods into your mods folder. But I'm assuming most of you don't have Fabric, so that's what we're going to do next. Click on the fifth link in the description, I believe by this point, it's also going to be labeled as Fabric. And once you click in there, you'll be here. This is a guide on how to install Fabric in depth in case this video is too fast for you. If you were to get lost, you could look at the screenshots and stuff in here. But I'm going to try and make it quick for you guys. Guys. Come down to quick navigation, go down to step one and click on the fabric button. That is going to redirect you right here where you're going to choose download universal jar and then the download for the fabric installer will begin right away. Now I want you to go ahead and drag and drop that fabric installer to your desktop as well as every other mod that we just downloaded. You should find those here on your recent download history or on your downloads folder on your PC. Again, it's going to be the fabric installer, the fabric API, Jet another config lib and then Controlify, right? Now with these four files in your desktop, it's time to begin the installing process. First thing you wanna do is close your Minecraft launcher as well as your Minecraft game. Second thing you wanna do is install Java 21. Without Java 21, we won't be able to open this jar file right here. This is a jar file. If you don't have Java 21, check the description of this video. I'll leave a guide on how to install Java 21. It's actually quite simple. Now, once you've done that, go ahead and double click on the Fabric installer that is going to open this menu here and select 1.21.5 and hit install. Installing Fabric is super easy and super fast. Once it's installed, go ahead and hit OK. And as a matter of fact, you could actually delete it from your desktop because you don't need that anymore. Now we should have three files left and it's time to add these files into our mods folder for Minecraft. Open your Minecraft launcher and if you guys install Fabric properly, you should actually see Fabric selected here automatically. As you can see, that's the case for me right here. But even if you don't see it, don't worry. Head over to installations. That's the next step. Over here, select the mod it. Without modded, you actually won't see Fabric. And if you still don't see Fabric in here, guys, you could always click on new installation and then look for Fabric on the version and then hit install down here and you'll get it in here, right? Now, once you have Fabric in here, hover over it and click on the open installation folder icon right here. That is going to place you inside the Minecraft installation folder. Now you're looking for another folder called mods, M-O-D-S. As you can see, my mods folder is right here, but I'm actually going to delete it because let's say that you came over here and you didn't have a mods folder. In that instance, what you're going to do is head over to new folder and then just name it mods, M-O-D-S. That's it. If you don't have a mods folder, create it yourself. Now go ahead and open this folder up and in here, we're going to put those three files that we have left. Controlify, yet another library, and then Fabric API. Go ahead and add them into here, right? Now you should have your mods in here, and if you're gonna be using any other mods, make sure they are also Fabric and that they are also 1.21.5. Now you close this folder, head back into your Minecraft launcher, and launch your Fabric loader. Just hit play. If you get a prompt in there, just read through it, and then if you understand, hit play again. Now if you guys open the game and you see this prompt in here, just go ahead and hit yes. That's just going to update the mod real quick. Now, once you're in the game, you could go ahead and launch a single player world and you will see that your controller should be working. And I actually went ahead and connected a controller just so you guys could see that I could use the game using a controller. Just go ahead and hit ready and calibrate your controller real quick. It should actually do it automatically. And there we go. It's done. And as you can see, I'm now playing using a controller. This is it, guys. This is how to install Controlify for Minecraft 1.21.5. If this video helped you out, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.